Good afternoon, you can see I'm in my office at the moment and um, just going off up to the Lake District with Mrs I uh, next week uh, for a couple of days um, walking and I'm um, going to try and compile my second ever YouTube video uh, which hopefully will be a lot better than the, the first one because I've got this microphone now which will hide a lot of the, uh, the wind wind noise um, and I'm going to do a, a short walk on the Thursday which is walk number 10 from Bill Burkitt's Walk Ambleside, Rydal and Grasmere book. Um, I don't know if uh, any any of you have got any of these um, books by Bill Burkitt who's a, a famous um, uh, Lake District um, fell walker and climber um, but they're absolutely superb. Um, I'll just give you um, a short clip of the the route that we're going to be taking it's just a short six kilometer walk should take a couple of hours or so around Rydal Water somewhere we've not been before uh, so um, uh, and it, it's going to take in at Rydal Caves but they're they're excellent books these um, as you can see there's a, a summary of the area on the back with about 20 walks uh, and each one's perfectly illustrated uh, in terms of um, distances and so on and so forth so I'll uh, it, obviously no substitute for uh, map compass and being able to um, uh, navigate properly with a map and compass but um, as a reference point uh, they're absolutely superb so I'll, I'll bring in on the route that we're going to uh, do next uh, next Thursday so here you can see the route that we're going to take uh, it's walk number 10 and the page just shows a nice little fact sheet at the bottom left which gives you roughly the length of time um, difficulty easy with slight ascent in this case start and finish in places uh, hostelries which is most important and you've even got a grid reference there to um, uh, show you exactly where the where the starting point is um, watch out for places along the way uh, bottom right hand corner there you'll see Rydal Cave that's uh, probably the highlight of this particular walk uh, and I believe there was um, some famous film uh, shot there uh, I'll, uh, I'll find out what it was and, uh, and let you know later on in the uh, the video but that's uh, that's the walk and um, we'll catch you next week hopefully if the weather's fine Right, I just thought I'd give you um, a quick uh, fly through of the um, route we're taking on this round of Rydal Water. Don't know how it'll come out because it's on my computer, so um, just have to bear with us. So we park at uh, White Moss Common Car Park, which is which is here, uh, and then we make our way through the woods and just start to climb slightly up Luffrig Fell but we, we basically traverse Luffrig Fell and then hopefully at this point we will come across Rydal Caves uh, and then we skirt past this wood drop down into Rydal itself and at that point we may well um, just take advantage of one of the tea rooms so we go through Rydal and past where William Wordsworth uh, used to live which would be interesting uh, and then we traverse Nabscar no great height gains or anything uh, just slowly across the side of Nabscar and then we could at this point go down here and drop back into the car park but um, just to extend the route we will go to um, White Moss Common, go across the common, drop down to the road and then back to the car park.
rain looks set now I'm afraid could be an early return to the pub I'm not sure <coughs> but I think we're now approaching the caves <coughs> vital caves which is going to be the highlights of the walk for me oh it's looking promising isn't it I'm just looking mildly interested. Yep. Here we go. A couple of people in there. All oh, the stepping stones are still available. Are you up for it, Wend? What? Getting over them stepping stones. I'm not going over the stepping stones. Not going over the stepping stones. <laughs> Right, let's have a look. Try and use my zoom on my gimbal. Oh, wrong way. And you can just see the definition of the uh, the depth of it where those people were. Right, let's put something to do with these stepping stones. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures. Ooh. There we go. Absolutely unbelievable this place. So let's look at this. Another hidden gem. The right district. Let's keep going. I've seen other YouTube videos and there's fish in here. I can't see any today. But Dogs fancy it. Absolutely unbelievable place. Not as good as Cathedral Caves, but nonetheless. The dog's enjoying itself. Hidden gem of the lakes. All you wild campers could uh, have a do it here. It's a bit wet, but not as wet as it is outside. Lovely place, lovely place. Right, I'll go and uh, get Wendy over these stepping stones and she can enjoy it. Rydal Cave and we've just got a bonus cave here. I'm not going to climb down here to go in it but uh, there's a big stone here with a plaque on the top of it huh? so you can actually climb up it I believe. Okay. Just saying there's a plaque at the top of there you can climb up it but I'm not going to be bothered in uh, conditions like this I'm afraid. There you go, when you're taking photographs look. Took my gimbal off by the way because uh, of the weather conditions, it's uh, frankly doing me in. So that over there will be our return route once we get to the head of uh, Rydal. Which should be in about another half hour, I would guess. Weather's improved slightly, as you can see, with a bit of blue sky now. But uh, nonetheless, it's still a very wet underfoot. <laughs> River's cascading everywhere, as you can see. Right, so this is where old Bill lived. Yeah. Rydal Mount. 
Family home, 37 years from 1813 to his death in 1850. So this is where he lived. It's closed at the minute. Not too shabby a gaff, is it? I'm gonna have a brew at tea rooms, but I think they're shut as well. Anyway, onwards. If anybody's doing this route, just as you pass Willie's house, grass me via coffin route. And it was a route, what happened to it? They used to take used to dead bodies to the church in Grasmere. There you go. This is the route that they used to take dead bodies to the church in Grasmere. A bit of a strip fire there, everyone. Okay, folks, we've uh, passed Willie's place and we're now on this coffin route. The other side of uh, Rydal, you can see Heron Island in the middle there. And just to the, if you look at this tree on the left, just to the right, you'll see a little flat bit, that's where that uh, Rydal cave is. So we're not too far from the base now. This is the coffin route. And it's racing up there. Uh, I've put my gimbal away so it is a bit shaky because of the weather conditions. A bit of focus on it, all you proper YouTubers. Um, so, relatively flat route now. Uh, we're just traversing Nabscar. Uh, and it'll take us back to the road, which in turn will uh, take us back to White Mouse Car Park. So, I'll we'll touch base on the other later. Right, just landed back at White Moss Car Park. We've done 5.38 miles. It's a good look at that actually. Um, apart from coming off that White Moss Common and following Bill Berkey's book, and we've ended up in a bog. Now, the version of Bill Berkey's book we've got is quite an old one. So, whether there's been a, a situation that um, paths have altered, I don't know. That could be the case. But that was the only bit of a mare we had uh, in that. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of bogs but anyway we've got down all right wet feet now unfortunately we've got all that way around with dry feet given the conditions and uh, wet through now but it's, uh, it's a nice low level walk is that if um, you want a quick uh, a quick five miler um, not a right lot of ascent and descent very nice walk uh, and um, thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one